So Rig, where are we? What are we doing? We are in not so sunny Birmingham and we are about to head off to Geneva for the Benga Hansen Biogradia Annual Supplement Summit, which is going to be in Gestad, which is a ski resort. I don't know how to ski and it's going to be quite cold and we're going to speak to some big brands, some big ingredient manufacturers about cool new things that are coming that we can potentially include in, in strong products, in outsmart products, in, in various other products with the brands that we work with and hopefully continue to innovate. Biogradia are a company that provides us with our Hydrokirk, they provide us with the Quattrofolic, uh, quattrofolate for our, our upcoming methylfolate product. So they specialize in trademark patented and licensed ingredients. And they do the sourcing of those and the dealing with the manufacturers. So they are effectively a, um, a distributor of trademark patented ingredients. And they put on events like this to bring together like-minded individuals to try and bring new shit to the market. Huge travel montage. So we're here, we've checked in. So, so we're gonna go and find somewhere to eat. Well, look, there's a picture of. We are, yeah, and we're gonna go, yeah. Yeah. This is one of those places that in my head was like top tier fancy. And so far, it's kind of like Birmingham esque. But this side opens, look. But look, that, that could be an Italian villa. So, this is probably content, it's probably relatable. A prick salmon and avocado box and a latte. How much do you think that is? The answer will be on the next video. It won't be. It was £20. Everyone says Sweden's expensive. I've went to Sweden, it was 10 or 20% more expensive. Here it seems to be two to three times as much for most things. How much were our cocktails last night on average? £25 each. How's your head this morning? <laughs> Not worth the £200 we spent to have five drinks. <laughs> What's made you very happy, Rick? What's that over there? Big train. Big train? Look at it. It's mega. It's like a spaceship for the track. And we're going to go up a mountain in one. Rick's been up this morning and gone off and done stuff. I have slept. Well, I've gone off and done stuff. I went to see an old friend that works at CERN. Don't make it sound <laughs> like I've gone off on a pervert's adventure. Turns out we also booked our hotel in like the seediest part of town. Yeah. Which is what happens when you let Rick choose the hotel. It was the first hotel. Coincidence. We are on the train from Montneu to Gestad. Uh, it is the panoramic, which I think means it's got nice windows. Uh, and it's from about 1892. Um, and it's apparently one of the best train journeys uh, in the world. I think it's going to be sunglasses time when we get there because snow. I did not bring those sunglasses. Did you bring yours? Obviously. What have you got there, Rick? Sunglasses. Because I had laser eye surgery, so I have better than 20-20 vision, but I'm also hypersensitive to light, which is why I wear sunglasses all the time. A lot of people think I just wear sunglasses all the time because I'm a douche. I was going to say, can't it be both? A little column A, a little column B. Yeah, yeah, it can be both, definitely, it can be both. I see, I watch videos of people driving around the Alps all the time. And I don't think I ever appreciate it. Oh, fucked you are if you get it wrong. Arrête sur demande. These trains aren't hanging about, are they? So we are now in Gestard Central. It's very pretty. There's an ice hockey ring just there. Greening. And it's lovely. It's, you know what, Geneva was a little bit of a letdown, I think. It was very grey. It kind of just felt like any other city except everything was really expensive for no particular reason. This is, this is lovely. Uh, so we're going to go try and find my hotel. Hotel for £110 a night, actually really nice. Kind of regret not just booking that because it's it's hard to know when you're looking at something you've never been to, like what distances and stuff are. So all I knew was well, the transport's leaving from the hotel that I've booked in that. That's the one they've suggested. I'll just book that. But Tariq's hotel is a four-minute walk away. So to save, I think it would have worked out to about £600 over the course of the two days. I would have happily walked four minutes. And Tariq's hotel is, is really quite nice. I made him come in and look at mine because I think we are going to be talking a very different ball game. What if we're not? Well, mine doesn't have a naked spa for a start, so... There isn't enough Cialis in the world to make me go in the naked spa naked. Um, Drinking water. It's too far away. Ah, oh, this is it. Le Grand Bellevue. There you go. So this looks like a fucking palace. Now I know how much stuff costs in Switzerland. The, the cost of this per night isn't actually that obscene relative to what everything else costs here. So it's supposed to be 900 pounds a night, 
because I'm coming as part of the conference, we've got a group booking rate, which is, I think, 450 a night, which is still the most I've ever paid for a hotel. Having just had the tour of your hotel, do you think the difference in price is valid? It, it, it's almost justifiable, isn't it? But it, <laughs> it's very good. It's very, very good. This is one of the nicest hotels I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, it's not like over the top showy, but certainly the way everyone is, is, is fantastic. And yeah. um, the, 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 the greeting you get when you arrive and stuff is... We did get a hot chocolate when we had it, it was fucking gorgeous. So the minibar is free apart from the champagne, but we've got beer, two bottles of water, two bottles of Coke, an orange juice and an apple juice. And they are free of charge and they get refreshed every day. So you need to drink all of these to get your money's worth. And you have a coffee machine, so I'm probably going to help myself to that. Hey Rick, where are we going? Up a hill. Why? Because we are Alpine Adventurers. What are you wearing on your feet? Snow boots. You finally got to wear them? Yeah, I'm a sound pet. Where's your big coat? At home and I'm, com I'm uncomfortably hot. So, how was day full day one of the conference? Well, I think, I think the thing that's confused both of us the most is that we've actually done business things, potentially generated some, some conversations that will become really useful to our businesses and, and future prospects. Which is not what I expected, to be honest. And you got to be slightly obtuse with the innovation director for Optimum Nutrition, BSN, and, and, and everything else. That was my favorite. Conference. If I wasn't here on your dime, I would have roasted him at questions at the end of his speech, but sorry, yeah. it was probably in slightly <laughs> poor taste. Oh, was that the, the questions that you had written and one of them was just angry Tariq noises? Yes. Yeah, that's how I was going to finish. How much were our two wine and sodas? 22 francs, which is about 20 quid. And then this is the view though. Pretty special. It's not. And we're, we're going to go up there. Yep. Yep. We're not. We are. We're definitely not. Uh, we've come on a lovely little nature walk and it's uh, pretty fucking cool actually. Yeah, you know what? It's not ugly. I'll tell you what is ugly. Fuck you. This is Nick White from Biogredia, and Nick is our contact in the UK. We source uh, branded ingredients, clinically uh, reviewed ing uh, ingredients from around the globe, so best-in-class ingredients, uh, and supply them to the nutraceutical industry. Each year, uh, we have a, a summit here in, in, in Stad. You know, it's a, a sharing experience, networking, a learning experience. And how have you found? How have you found this one? Uh, the, the best one, the best one for sure. I mean, with no frame of reference. So we'll have technics work. Really. Um, yeah, just want to say thank you so much for inviting us. Okay, Nick. thanks for coming. And, uh, if you'll have us, we'll see you next year. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly, Rick. Certainly. Morning. You join us on our final day in Gastard. We are at Le Grand Chalet, and it's been a fantastic couple of days. It's actually been really busy. We've made some fantastic new contacts, potentially to allow us to explore new markets. We've learned about. We're going to learn about this morning a few more new ingredients coming to market and. and why they're so efficacious. We've made contact with people for new manufacturing routes, new routes to market. So it's been a thoroughly worthwhile trip despite all of our japing that we were just coming to go up a mountain for no particular reason. Um, which we also did. We went all the way to the top of a mountain um, and it was easy. Super easy, in fact, could have done it twice. If you get a chance to come to Gestard and someone else is paying, absolutely do, because it's amazing. What I will add as my two cents worth at the end of that was that the food and drink that we have had here has been absolutely oh, class. incredible. Like this has been one of the best trips I've ever been on. And we're literally, I don't know if you can see this, eye level with the clouds. That is an actual cloud and it is pretty much... White clouds. Everything's very white in Switzerland. Uh, the people are very cool. And white. I just have to tell you who I am. That's really? Yeah, and the company, what you guys do. Okay. That's perfect. Like this? So this is one of the coolest people that I've ever met and one of the best salesmen. If you'd like to introduce yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, hello. It's a big pleasure meeting you all. I'm Fabian and uh, what we do here in Switzerland, we manufacture collagen peptide and we not only manufacture them, but our aim is really to be a competence center. We want to be your partner with collagen from A to Z. Whatever you need, we love to be here for you, love to help you, and love to advocate the collagen worldwide and bring it to the next level where it belongs. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. If you're watching this, you know I made a couple of videos on collagen. So yeah, if you are looking for a manufacturer for high quality collagen, Swiss made, give these guys a call. Anytime. Look how happy you are, you've had an excuse to wear your coat. It's, it's quite chilly right now. <laughs> Top of 
That's it. Negative seven. If I didn't wear this now, then I carried it all the way from the Do You have to wear it on the plane as well. So, continuing our theme of weird things in vending machines, this one, as well as your chocolate and your sweets and your drinks, you can buy condoms and a pregnancy test, depending on how your weekend English diet has gone. <laughs>